Now you got a topic you're just chomping at the bit to get to. No, I'm just Blake, Blake Griffin. Griffin retired with today. I thought he and, was retired uh, already. I'm just saying. Yeah, these last several years. He, no, I just, Chris, when you start talking about the Hall of Fame, and you know where I am with it. I, I really think it's supposed to be an exclusive club and not everybody gets in. You know what I mean? And, and we saw uh, Vince Carter got in, right? Eight-time All-Star, two-time All-NBA. So if you're going to look at that. with Vince. Okay, but if you're going to look at no that, Blake Griffin, six-time All-Star. Okay, so that's uh, just a couple times less than Vince Carter. And here's the best. Vince Carter was just a two-time All-NBA player. And Blake Griffin was a five-time All-NBA player. So when you start looking at this, how can he not be considered or at least thought about very heavily to be in the Basketball Hall of Fame if you're Blake Griffin? And I know they didn't win anything in, in, with the Clippers, Chris, but they had a, a squad. They, they were high-flying and entertaining and... People were into Blake Griffin for a moment. He had the national commercial. He drew, he jumped over the what was it? The he's Kia. one of the best game dunkers, right? I mean, NBA there's a lot history. of stuff. So, do you have a problem with Blake Griffin if people wanted to put him in the Hall of Fame, or or is this or is this going over the top for you? Because I'm just saying, I don't think based he, on where we what we've gotten to now, I don't know yeah, how he's not. I don't think it's just a. I mean, that, you take as you know, Rob. There are a plethora of things that you look at. I don't think you only look at accolades. That's part of it. But I I don't when I think of Blake Griffin, I think of one of the greatest game dunkers in NBA history. Uh at times I've even had him in my top 5, number 5. Um that's arguable, but he's certainly one of the greatest game dunkers, certainly top 10. Um and he was a great player for a while. But I don't think of him as a Hall of Famer. Vince Carter, to me, is a Hall of Famer. I think Vince was better than Blake uh, at, with both of them at their heights, at their peaks. Um, but here's the, the – look, the one I thought you were going to go at, Reggie not Miller. Vince Carter. No, not Reggie Miller, not but Vince Reg, Carter. Let me just give you Reg, Reggie Chauncey Miller. Chauncey Billups. Five-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA. So, right. so Blake has him beat in both categories. Right. I thought you were going to – you may not even know this guy is a Hall of Famer. I'll give you a hint. Go ahead. Showtime Lakers. Yeah, Michael Cooper. Yeah. I mean, he I, averaged – Chris. Respect, he Coop averaged nine, nine points – Right? Didn't he average nine points Never a game? Never made an all-star team. How in the world? Nine points a game. Actually, 8.9. But that you rounded off to nine. Nine yeah, points. No, I know. I'm just, but, I, look. Well, it, Blake Griffin, if, if, if Michael Cooper is a Hall of Famer, then Blake Griffin's a Hall of Famer. No doubt. This, Blake Griffin was on a whole nother tier. Chris, can you explain? Yeah, he was several tiers ahead of Michael Cooper. Explain to Michael Cooper to me. because I can't. Okay. I, I, <laughs> all no. I can say is he was on those championship teams. No, no he me. was a he was a very good he was a great defender. But that's he what, was but, an eight time all defensive team. But Chris, you said one time defensive player of the year. No all stars though. No, Rob. Come on. <laughs> Every, I, I, there's no way, and again, love for Michael Cooper, but there's no way as a player he was a Hall of Famer. Now, here you ask for an explanation. I might be able to give it to you. Didn't he coach? How did he win championships as a coach was in it, the WNBA? Was he, was he? Was he in Houston? He won two with the Comets. All right, it, it's the it professional. The... It's the professional, or not? It's it's the basketball Hall of Fame. Two time with the Sparks. I mean, sorry, Sparks. Right. So there you have it, Rob. That might be it. He won two championships as a coach. 
He was a good player, very good player, and a great defender. And that's probably how you explain it, plus the fact that he was on a legendary team. But, Rob, forget Blake. Look, if Michael Cooper's in, Blake Griffin's definitely in. Andre Iguodala's in. I mean, unless you, unless it is really the coaching. He, he want to. We're trying wanna, to look at right. it as a player. Andre Iguodala's in. If Chris, everybody's in. in. Who, who's okay. out? Cornbread Maxwell needs to be up in arms. Well, yes, Cornbread can say, at least I led the league in waving towels, Chris. How in well, the world no, am I now? Of, uh, you think of ML Carr. I always do that. I always get them mixed up. You know that. I Cornbread get them. won the finals MVP in Larry Bird's first championship. Right, right. Rob, um, who was I? Th- there, Byron Scott. Byron Scott. Who was, was a friend of the show? We should Cooper. get we should get him on the line. I well, know he not probably this his friend. No, I, I know, get, but I he probably like fell out of his Cooper. chair, Chris. You think he fell out of his chair? Well, I, I'm sure that he was like, "Oh, I mean, again, the only explanation is that it's the coaching. The coaching put him over the top, and you know they're pushing obviously all things WNBA. You know what I mean? All things women's basketball." So All right, I'm going to say it again, it? Chris. Can you understand what I'm saying? No, I mean, do you think that's the only explanation I can give? And, and yeah, he was on the legendary team, but he wasn't a star. Right. But, but this is where, and I'm saying this for real. Think, hear, hear me out. Adam Silver, this is to him. If you want to have something for your legacy, Chris, something that you could walk away from, and it not just be, the play-in or the in-season tournament, but have something to leave behind. I implore you, start the NBA Hall of Fame. I'm dead serious, Chris. Start the NBA Hall of Fame, and then you could just go, and Chris, what you do is to start – you, you pick out, when they started the Baseball Hall of Fame, they put a certain amount of people in, you know what I mean, like the original group, and then you start voting as you go along. But this is ridiculous. You, got, you have to, and you know what? The Basketball Hall of Fame can continue to do whatever it wants. Right, right. But you got to get the best. Lee Cooper in there as a, as yes. a coach for the WNBA, championship-level coach, was a great defensive player in the NBA. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. He has because to. It, it, and again, no disrespect for Coop. I, but here's, I'm going to ask you this, though, Rob. What is the one play? I'm going to ask both Robs. What is the one play when you think of Mike, Michael Cooper and you think of a play? What's the play? Um. Yeah. Um, what he dribbled play the ball off your mind? He dribbled the ball off his foot. No, okay, that, Rob G, you got one? <laughs> I do not. What, the, the around the Who head shot? got dunked on in, by Dr. J. Was that Michael Cooper? Rock the cradle, rock the baby dunk. Yes, it was Michael Cooper ducking under the rim, protecting his head. That is the lasting image of what we think of when we think of Michael Cooper. I want to hear from the callers, some of the older ones. Mark from Sacramento, if he ain't mad about yesterday. We love Mark. He's good. We love Mark, but don't tell us we don't watch games. He said we were on crack, Chris. I went to have a test today. Don't tell us we on crack. (laughs) (laughs) But I'm and, And again, Coop was great. But Rob. You are right. Essentially, every player, I, I, honestly, how can they turn anybody down? I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not being anybody facetious. that was of any significance. Right. I mean, honestly, and he's not as good as Cooper, and he didn't make eight all defensive teams. He made three. Patrick Beverly. I mean, that's what Coop was that type of defender better. But that's that's Coop's, that was his claim to fame. I'm a great defender. 
But Rob, it was magic. It was Kareem. It was worthy. It was Byron Scott. Chris, the I whole mean, team has just, to go in now. I mean, the I, whole team. Like, I'm sorry. It's just, I know Cooper was floored. He probably never thought of himself as a Hall of Fame. And I guess, and Rob G, what is the the years, the term limit? Not term limit, but you know the limit on years. Because maybe then, I mean, heck, he was he won his championships in 01 and 02. Chris, the one thing about baseball, you're only on the ballot With for ten WBA. years. You can't get in that long. You know what I mean? Like, if they don't vote you in 10, it used to be 15 is down to 10, and now 10 years and you're off the ballot. It shouldn't be whether you're on the ballot for 40 years, Chris. It doesn't even make sense. Uh, I, I love Coop, but I, I, and I keep saying it because, I, I, you know, he's retired, Rob. <laughs> I hate to – you know what I mean? Yeah, but, but you're not – But not, it is look, what it is. It is, it is and, and you're not talking about Coop the person. No. We're just no. – and, and, and Coop was a great – Coop – Rob, he knows he wasn't a Hall of Fame player. He knows he wasn't a Hall of Fame player. Again, it might have been because of the coaching. Rob G, what you got? You said you wanted to know what was the 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 years limit, right? Because baseball's only yes, 10 yeah. years. According to the Basketball Hall of Fame website, there is no time limit as to when there you could is. get elected. Chris, that into makes the no sense, fame. does it? Does it? No. Hey, Chris, you might get in the Hall of Fame as a contributor. Real real talk. I mean, it's just, you know. Chris is getting in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, he, right. I'm just saying. I'm telling you straight up. I'm not. We, I'm just we, saying. Chris, it's going to be Chris, gonna, Chris, Michael Jordan, Wilt Chamberlain, and Michael Cooper. Like Chris, you're going to get together. into the Hall of Fame. You hear what I just said to you? Look at me. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, look, it, it just, I, Rob, you said it. They should have, that is a great legacy for Adam Silver. It is. It's time because this is – and you're right. You could you could really up the standard and, like you said, let the Basketball Hall of Fame keep doing what they want to do. But up the standard is NBA players and coaches, if you, you know, executives, and the NBA executive, Hall of Fame. The NBA why Hall of shouldn't Fame. they have a Hall of Fame like baseball and the pro football, Chris? Right. Like, for Absolutely. real. Absolutely. Absolutely. Find this a good right. spot that you want to put it in and get that thing done. Build yep. it. Yep. Build it. I agree.